Alrighty. So I want to go over a few things with you. Janae and I are about to do a time-lapse video of um, an example or examples of different lighting positions. But before we did that, before we do that, I would like to go through a few things with you. This is a gray card. Gray cards are available to you. You can check them out at AV. So they will either look like this or something close to this. This is an x rite color checker card. Now the cool thing about the x rite color checker card is that when you sign out a lighting kit, every one of the kits has, has one of these in it, all right? So an x rite color checker card is used for color consistency throughout your shoot. When you're in a controlled lighting environment like this, these things come in super handy. You make something called a control shot, and I will explain in a follow-up video how the control shots work. You'll see me, through the time-lapse video, make control shots of Janae that then will be explained later. So the thing to know is that this gray card is the center point of photographic exposure. You'll also notice that it's very close to the gray that's behind me on the backdrop. When using these, and you'll see this in the, in the time lapse, all right, I wanna make sure that my card, my gray card, is in full light, like the full key light that's right next to me. It's absolutely bathed in the full key light. It's not off to the side like this, which could potentially put it into shadow, which can throw off your color calibration. The same is true with the color checker card. It needs to be bathed fully in the key light. And you'll notice that this gray also happens to be on the color checker card. So you don't need both of these. You can, do, you can do one or the other. This will be in every one of your light kits, just as a reminder.